Hey you guys, Carter here with Crowley Real Estate and Century 21 and today we are going to be discussing how to buy a house for the first time. So if you're brand new and you're learning about buying your first home or you're wanting to learn more about buying your first home, um, definitely check out this video, this blog post. I am going to go over every little minute detail on what you should know prior to buying your first house and what you should know on how to buy your first house. So step number one, what do you need to start doing? Um, first things first, you need to start looking at houses. Like how are you gonna buy a house if you don't look at any? Um, so what you should do in that regard is go on realtor.com, go on Zillow, Trulia, everything like that. Just start searching houses, find what you do, what you don't like about specific houses. I'm sure you probably have a generalized sense. Um, but as you start looking at houses, you'll be able to tell um, based upon the information that they provide, what you might be able to afford. So say your budget is $50,000 and you're looking at $50,000 houses and you're like, wow, all these are very distressed. They're not in very good condition. That's probably typical for a $50,000 house in the Appleton, Wisconsin area. Um, so at least you will have some sort of general idea. But that's step number one, look at some houses. Step number two, maybe you're wondering how much can I afford each month? So step number two would be speaking with a local mortgage lender or your banker, um, a lender at your banking institution, whether it's US Bank, Community First, whatever it is. Or I would recommend going through Jesse at Inlanta Mortgage. He does an awesome job. I'll link his information right here for you guys to go to and view. Um, but that's what I would say. Talk with the mortgage lender. They're going to give you an idea on how much you can afford, what would be a comfortable range that you should stay in, um, and ultimately, what you should be looking for in your first home. So with specific loan programs, there's certain regulations and restrictions. Um, and this just needs to be watched out for. And I will know what houses you should typically be looking at, whether it's an FHA loan, a VA loan, a conventional loan, all those sorts of things. So step number two would be speaking with a local lender um, and get familiar with what you can afford. Step number three after you get familiar with what you can afford, is talk with a local real estate agent. You might decide to talk with someone else. You can talk with me. Um, I'm very knowledgeable on the area. You ultimately want to figure out what community, what neighborhood is going to give you the lifestyle that you want, along with the home characteristics, the location, everything like that. Because real estate, there's houses that are similar from Appleton to um, Green Bay down to Oshkosh, there's similar houses everywhere. But ultimately what you're buying a house for is the location that it gives you. Remember, it's not like an apartment, you're going to be there for one, two, three, four, five, ten 10 plus years, maybe your entire life. So location is huge. You wanna be in a great area if you can afford it. Um, and I would be able to give you guys some of that information here. If you give me a call, shoot me a message, um, or even if you find it on this website, I go over some of the communities in the Appleton area. Um, so location is huge. That is the next step in, in finding what it is, talking with a real estate agent and really kind of narrowing down what you're looking for. And then go start looking at houses. Um, and then once you start looking at houses, eventually you'll find that one that you really, really like. And then you write an offer on it. Hopefully the offer gets accepted. If the offer does not get accepted, then you just keep looking at more houses and start the process over again and go from there. So, of course, I summed up the last part very, very quick because I really wanted to dive into detail on to how to buy your first house um, or how to buy a house for the first time and the, the beginning initial steps to that process. So if you have questions, if you're like, Carter, I need help. I want you to give me a little bit more info on buying my first house shoot me a message, fill out the form down below. I would be more than willing to have a conversation with you. We can sit down for coffee. I can call you, FaceTime you, whatever you prefer, but I can break down the process so it's easy and simple to understand. I'll provide you with my free home buying guide so you know every step in the process and you can be informed on what you should and should not do during the process. So thank you guys for watching. Again, fill out the form down below if I can do anything to help you out. Otherwise, have a great day.